Kim Handler, thank you so much for coming. And I think all of you know me as a realtor, but none of you really know me know me as Pam, except for maybe Chris. <laughs> so um, I'll start with telling you how my journey all started. So um, this is where I'm from. This is where I grew up um, in those brown buildings over there which is called Coney Island, Luna Park. And um, every day in the summer, that would be my right of choice. Last car, hands up, on and on and on, all day long. And I actually worked in Coney Island at different concession stands, so it's a lot of fun. Okay, so what do I have in common with all of these people? So that's Jennifer Love Hewitt, Lee Maselli, um, Arthur Miller, Mel Brooks. You all went to the same high school. Yes, you're so, <laughs> so nice. smart, Scott. So we all graduated from Abraham Lincoln High School, which is a pretty famous high school in Brooklyn. OK, so in the 70s, I was big disco diva, who turned into a hairband groupie. So, um, oh. So on a uh, number of Saturday nights, you can see me standing online at uh, Studio 54. And that's me back in the day in my disco, disco wear. And uh, that's, besides Chris, that's the man of my dreams, John Bon Jovi. So um, he actually held my hand and sang to me um, at his concert a couple years ago. And um, that's me back in my hair band days with my son, who was a little boy scout. So um, during the beginning of my working career, I spent 10 years working on Wall Street, and I got to work at Two World Trade Center on the 105th floor. And that was just an amazing, amazing experience for me. I loved working over there and being part of the whole financial district. I worked for Shearson in Manhattan. So everybody has a big why. Everybody wakes up in the morning to do for some, for some reason. And my big why, that's my son and his family, my daughter-in-law and my grandchildren. And uh, I wake up every morning as for me, but also for them. And um, my son wants to open a restaurant called uh, Capozzi's. He wants to take over the, um, the ownership of it in the next couple of years. And I want to help him with that. I want to be his um, investor. So that's why I wake up every morning and walk my butt off for that. And also, I, um, one of my passions is uh, dogs. I love dogs. And that's my dog, Pinkus, who's a rescue, help, you know, rescue dogs. So, um, and make sure they get proper care. So those are my two big whys. So this is my business mission. It's to enhance and enrich the lives of those I touch and have the honor to serve them. My personal integrity and complete accountability guide my actions for the benefit of my clients' needs, trusting that as their needs are met, mine will also be fulfilled. Hello. So I'll tell you a little bit about real estate now. So you ask me, Pam, how's the market? So I know all of you have been hearing that there are no homes on the market. And 2013 is the year of low listing inventory. And homeowners should be listing their homes right now. Buyer traffic is up 40% since last year. The median price is up 11.8% since last year. And in the last three months, the number of available homes fell 4.9%. In January, one third of all purchases were cash. And the current inventory will de be depleted in four months versus six months last year. So last year, it was a 90, 91 days was um, how homes sat on the market, and this year's number is 62. So that's a 32% drop. So this is the best time to get your house on the market. So if any of you know someone who wants to sell, please have them get in touch with me. So what is a good referral for me? Someone who's relocating to Atlanta, someone who's going through a divorce, someone that just got married, someone with elderly parents that need to move to assisted living, someone that just got engaged, empty nesters, looking to downsize, and someone who's pregnant, growing their family, in need of a larger home. 
put gate openers for me on divorce and estate law attorneys, elder care consultants, wedding and event planners, financial planners, CPAs, remote departments and corporations. What's a bad referral? Someone who already has a real estate agent. Unless they tell you that they're really unhappy with their real estate agent, then they can become a good referral for me. But they will need to contact me. Um, I can't contact them. And uh, another bad referral is someone who's only interested in renting. And someone who tells you that they have bad credit. We don't want those people. <laughs> So uh, what do I expect from my chapter, from you guys? I want you to be my raving fans. So when someone says real estate, you say? Pam Hammer. When someone says they need to sell their house, you say? Pam Hammer. When someone says they need to buy a house, you say? Pam Hammer. Thank you guys. So I'll tell you a little story about one of my clients, Mrs. Bryant. She is an elderly woman. I think she's in her late 80s. Her son passed away. Her husband passed away. She just has a daughter who lives in Nashville. She has this huge property on Powers Ferry Road in Mount Karen and had no idea what the value would be. Wants to get rid of it. She's tired of paying taxes on it. She's tired of getting the lawn done and the house is a complete mess and tear down. So um, I met her through networking. I met someone who did um, commercial real estate for her and her husband who referred me on the residential side. So with all the comps that I've done for her, we realized that her property is worth about 600,000. She had no idea. So um, I got another contract in two days for 605 and with a builder who's gonna be putting like a $2 million house on that property. So she's happy. So here you guys are my team players. So I need to know how I can help all of you with your business, and now that I've told you how you can help me, I'd like to set up some one-to-ones with all of you at one time. So that's it. That's my presentation. And uh, thank you for coming. And again, I'm Pam Handler, a realtor for Life Changing Events. Thank you.